that just doesn't account for in the game. Then just all right. So we'll do. Let's see puzzles. All right. So you want to focus on um, on. So how do you focus on? Uh, you said what do you what do you want to focus the puzzles on? Well, there was I can try the training for the interference ones. How, how do you? I'll, I'll try the training. How, how do you do that? Oh, oh, you went for the um um we did it we did it last time with the uh, Zims Sims song. Uh, oh, so oh, we did oh, oh the Zugzwang. Oh yeah, that. Oh. So what is that? Is that practice or is that just basics? Or? That's practice. Practice. Okay. Cool. Yeah. All right. That's good. So yeah, it's like one of the, the five tips like I saw online was like you know so which I one should practice like three odd, odd tactics, which I'm not sure how, how people do how you do that exactly. So which one? Do you, which one do you want to do? Interference. Yeah, we're gonna try interference. Cause I don't know. I don't. I, I don't. I'm not sure how that works actually. Okay. So just off the top of my head, interference is basically um, like when you in, when you I guess um, hey when you inter interpose a piece in in the the other person's attack line. So they're attacking you with a rook or a long range piece, a bishop, and then you kind of uh, yeah I guess I guess it's a form of blocking. So let's see here. So whose turn is it here? Uh, so black to move right. Well, what are they doing here? Interpose a piece to get a great effect. So, hmm. Ah, I get it. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Do you see? Do you see the move? I think it's Bishop uh, B five. Yeah. Right. Right. So the queen is blocking. Uh, queen is blocking the bishop, and you want to just break that break that connection, right? Very good. Yeah. Cool. And then just take. Takes queen. Cool. All right. All right. Good. All right. So, um, hmm. let's see here. So, what do you think here? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm, I'm thinking about it. Uh, uh, um. Hmm. Check me. Queen goes here. I can't really. Hmm. Did I block it with this? Oh, yeah. Okay. Rook block with uh rook the uh, d. D four. Uh yeah, so rook. Let's see here. Um, As if he takes with queen, we can just exchange right. queens and then the rook. The right. rook's double. Yeah, I'm thinking. About, I'm thinking about either rook or queen, but I guess rook is better. Let's see. Um, rook is better. I think rook is stronger. Yeah. All right. Cool. Take here. That's fine. Good. And then now, what do we do? You just, uh, wait, shit, you can't exchange, the, the rook's in a different place now, so it's a bit, uh... <laughs> now what do we do? I have to think, uh, because if I change, if I just exchange the queens now, it's not, um... Damn, uh... Hmm. Oh, well, I could go for the queen, the queen check, the queen blocks, I check with the rook. Nice, and yep. Then, yeah, you you win the you win the queen and uh well yeah. checkmate well yeah it'll be checkmate soon yeah, yeah it'll so. be checkmate too good so the rook check good so this is basically over king is overworked right protecting yeah. this, this square and this square so, yeah so take yeah I was like wait I was adding yeah you had to get really creative with this I was like oh. yeah all right so now so now how do you do the checkmate um. Just queen, oh, queen to the uh, check with the where the pawn, where, with the pawn protecting. Uh, is that a, uh, what is that? F F two. two. F two. F two. Good. And then. And then you just do it. Uh, just move it over to C. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, e two. E two. Right. Cool. Good. Yeah. So you know, interference is just blocking the connection of two long range pieces, right? Bishop or rooks. Um, okay. All right. So, so let's see. What about here? Um. 
Yeah, this one's a little bit more tricky. Uh, so... I guess I can do the... No, that one really... Hmm. What purpose would that serve, though? Um... Ah... Uh, I'm thinking about I'm I'm thinking about Bishop Abaki with the, the the Rock Queen connection with the Bishop. I don't know. That doesn't seem so. Bishop to where? Bishop to uh, let's see here. B one, but it doesn't look B eight. Oh, sorry, not B one. B eight. B eight. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely the one. It yeah, doesn't. Yeah, but I don't think. But I, but I don't think I really accomplish anything after that. Cause, I mean, I don't think it'd be silly enough to actually take. Well, well, look, look, look. The uh, the. Um, yeah, the, the rook. The, yeah, the rook can be taken. The, the rook I was is being that he wouldn't be foolish enough to take, but then I realized he kind of a actually has to, or else he loses his rook. Right. Yeah. Well, so what is he going to do? How is he going to protect the rook? If he, if he uh, takes, yeah, he, I guess if, he. I guess he rather. I guess he can't. I guess he really can't. Yeah. Yeah. So you, you you block, and let's say he tries to protect the rook. How does he protect the rook? What do you think? He'd have to take. He'd have to take the bishop with something. He had to take the bishop with something. Okay, you can take the bishop, but there's also one one way he can try to protect the rook. Oh. You see it? Is that? Um, oh, um, no, that isn't, um, he could, hmm, let me think, he has to start where he goes there, this rook's being attacked, um, um, no, it wouldn't make any sense. He just loses the loses the run. Um, um uh, tricky. Ah, uh, uh, I don't see any. I'm I'm not seeing any viable ways to do this. All right. So, well, well, well there, I mean, whether it's a good move or not, if there's only one way he can try to protect this rook, and that would be along the diagonal, right? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't see any violent ways. So, just so he, to he, he can go here. Yeah, but he loses his queen to a pawn, though. What, what do you mean? Queen? Oh, that's that, that's his own pawn. I'm stu I'm silly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he's protecting the uh, he's protecting the, the rook. However, he loses his bishop. Yeah. Right. So, so that's the thing. You know, block, protect the queen. Uh, queen protects the rook, and then you and then he loses the bishop. So, yeah. but yeah, yeah, this is the answer. It's good. C cutting off the connection between the queen and rook, and that's where, yeah, that's basically his best shot. Gives up the exchange. Take. Yeah. Yeah, okay. All right, so. Ooh, this is a good one. Nice, I like this. What do you think? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> well, this is interesting. Um. I'm thinking either blocking the rook queen connection with uh, the knight or bishop, let me think here. So if I do the knight. Um, how about a knight to d4? Okay, so good idea. Um, so what can he do? So now, so this opens up the, um, the c file, right? It yeah. does, it does cut off yeah. the queen and rook, it does cut off the, uh, the, the queen and rook connection, but you're opening up the c file, and so now possibly he can do some saving things, so he, maybe he can take here. With the queen. Yeah, I was realizing that. I thought I thought opening up the C file would be a good thing, but I was realizing it's maybe not so much. Right. So. So I think. I guess a, I'll deal with the bishop instead. Yeah, I think definitely the bishop is better because yeah, you're blocking. Um, you're blocking the connection, right? 
And yes. then, and then, what can you do? What, what do you think is the best move for White here? Uh, exchange queens. All right. So if he exchanges queens, then what do you do? After he exchanges queens, um, what do I do? Well, well, queen takes queen, and th and then what does Black do? Rook takes queen. No, or no, no, no. Better move. So this this would be the example of the um. What's it called? The Zuisen Jug? I think we I think we did that one. Zuisen Jug is like the in between move. Oh, okay. Right. So bishop. So bishop here. Bishop d d four. Oh, well, I'm, I'm silly. I didn't notice that bishop takes uh, bishop takes bishop check. Yeah, take the bishop with check, and then you take back with the with the rook, and you win a piece. Beautiful, <laughs> right? Yeah, because then he has to move. He either moves his rook out of the way, or, or he take, takes rooks and loses another rook. And it's... right, right. So cool. All right. Uh huh. He's got to take with the rook. <laughs> All, right. All right. So we we can take back, take back with the, rook, with the knight. Yeah. And now. Um. Yeah. Uh. Um. Take queen back with. So so, so which rook? What do you think? I'm thinking the rook that's under attack by the other rook. So the C rook, the yeah. the C A rook. Yeah, I think that's better. Yeah, because yeah, if you take back with this one, he can always take here, and then you take back, and then he, and then he takes. And then back. I lose my knight. Yeah, he takes back, and uh, and so now, was it two bishops against? Uh, oh wait. Yeah, yeah, two bishops against. Wait, uh, I think uh, I'm seeing something stronger. Um, in between move, if I take the knight, the bishop with the knight with a fork. Yeah, you can. Let's see. Let, let, let's see if that if that works out. Um, hmm. So check. Hmm. I mean, I mean, the rook is protected by the bishop. Because remember, we still have to we still have to take back the queen, right? So yeah. So if we take here, check. Let's say he moves up here. Um. Then what's the follow up? Um. I mean, I guess we can try it. Why not? Yeah, maybe we try and try it. I think it's a good move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still, the, ah. st still a good in between move because you're actually you're taking another piece. So yeah, it's a good, still a good move. And now, and now I'd say, uh, which rook should you take back with? Um, you should take back with. You should still take back with the rook that's being under attack. Well, in this position, I would take back with the e rook because now. Now we're up a full rook, right? And so now we want to trade as quickly as possible and simplify. Okay. So that's why I. I see it. Yeah, you're right, you're yeah, right. Yeah, that's why I take back with the e. Yeah, and then. And you just take the other rook. Yeah, and then trade down. Nice. Cool. All right. Next. Um. Hmm. Here. Well, this one's a little interesting. Uh, let's see here. Oh my God! There's not nah rook. I'm thinking. I'm looking at a rook sacrifice for like. Oh boy, that's nasty. But I, I guess sure. How about I'm I'm gonna we're gonna try rook to e three. Hmm. Blocking the connection between the queen and the knight. Ah, very good, very good. Yeah, definitely. Yes. So it, nasty. That's unfortunate. Not to sacrifice a rook for this, but like, alright. Isn't that nice though? You, and, and then you take the knight and threaten checkmate right here. Very yeah. cool. Yeah. And he moves his. He has to, then, yeah, he can't move his queen. To the, he has, then he has to try to move his queen to defend. I guess, but like, uh, that's a good one. Yeah. Uh. All right. Good. Yes. Nice. Awesome. All right. Now, what do we got? Mm -hmm. Um. Rather, 
living in you. This is tough. <laughs> oh, this one's very tricky because I can't. I can't do. Uh, there's a lot of things I just can't do. <laughs> you need a hint? Um, nah. Um, no, that's okay. I want to figure this out. Uh, yeah, right. I mean, I'm thinking about this night interference, but I don't think it does anything good for me. I just lose my rook for that. Yeah. What do you mean? You mean knight to what? Knight here? Yeah. That's, that's checkmate. Yeah, I know. I just lose. Yeah, I just lose after it. So. <laughs> <laughs> not worth it. <laughs> not, not, not gonna work. <laughs> not gonna work at all. Um, so I can't move my knight at all because of this pin. Yeah. Um, I was thinking about tween takes night, but like, what the hell does that accomplish? Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I can't take this pawn too because it's nice defending it, so it's it's, it's all. Mm hmm. It's all very annoying. Um, <laughs> maybe queen to wait for here. <laughs> this is not helpful. None of this is really helpful at all, but okay. <laughs> Jesus, is it me? Is this position for black just kind of garbage? <laughs> 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 it, is, it is a little bit difficult. So what do you think? Any ideas? Um, I, no, not really. I, I'm going to, I might need some help after all. <laughs> Take it? Yeah, thanks a lot. Okay. All right, so the rook protected by the knight, right? Yeah. Knight protected by the queen. The queen. So now, you had a good idea. How do you how do you how do you uh break this um Oh, I'm so silly. How did I not notice this pawn? Uh, yeah. Pawn, yeah. Yep. Pawn. So pawn forward breaks the connection. Knight's no longer protected. What do you do with the knight? Um, what do you do? What do I do with the knight? Yeah, where does it go? Because you can't, you can't defend it. He has to move it somewhere, but like, uh, I guess he goes to D four to protect itself. D four seems seems so, seems solid idea. Yeah. All right, D four. So you just lose a rook. Yeah. Oh um, well, I mean, I mean, if he, he has to move it, like, I mean, uh, right, right, yeah. So, so that's that's. What and what if he goes back here, attacks the queen, and what do you do? Um. He attacks the queen. Yeah. Let's see. Um. Yikes! 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 Sorry. He attacks the queen. I mean, I guess I could just move it somewhere. Um. Dead there. Oh yeah, I just take the pawn with check. I'm silly, yeah. Yep, take the pawn with check, and then once he moves his king, th then you take the rook. Yeah, I, take that. I just take the rook, yeah. Yeah, cool. All right, that's it. Oh. Yeah. Okay, so you decide to take the to take the to to lose the knight. Right. So not not much you can do there. So take. Yep. That's it. Oh. Cool. Okay. All right. What do you think here? Um. Uh. 
Night uh, C five. Yep. Break the uh, break yeah. the, break the connection, right? Good. Yep. So so okay, so you do okay, you do knight c five. Then what if he takes the rook? What do you do? Uh, oh, I mean, I mean, take, I mean, take the bishop. What do you do? Yeah, yeah, you can you can take the bishop. Right? Oh wait, I can't take. Oh, take back with what? I can take back with the. I take back with the knight. Yeah. Yeah, with the knight. Yeah, because the knight's under fire, right? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. Now what do you do? Um. Exchange queens. Yep. Definitely. Uh, then just move your bishop afterwards, out of the way. Yep. Let's move the bishop. Yeah. Oh, this was a continuing. Okay. All right. So that's it, right? Is it over? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's, over. yeah it's it. Cool. Well, why is that cute? Oh my! I'm in an act. You see that last one? Yeah, it says a five instead. <laughs> How come? Ah, uh, let's see. Mm. Um. Yeah. Once you do a five instead, well, I mean, you're gonna be able to push the pawns anyway. It doesn't really matter. You know. I don't know why it says yeah. a. Yeah. Yeah. I would just continue to push. And push. Yeah. Alright. Alright, so, right, so you want to do a game? Yeah, yeah. Alright, so let's see here. So which one do you want to do? Um, there is like a 15 minute casual one. You might have to sit for a bit. Alright, let's see. Casual. I saw you were playing online like pretty late uh, recently, like at two in the morning. <laughs> I was playing like, one to two in the morning. I was playing late, and I saw you there. Yeah, I play pretty. I play, I play pretty. Uh, I get I, I get pretty wild. I play I play pretty late sometimes. Uh, uh, on your phone, right? Yeah. <laughs> this one? Wait, there's, there's, uh, yeah. There's, there's a few casual. Uh, there's three. Huh? There's three casual ones. Oh, there is. So let's see. It's it was like fifteen minutes or something like that. I was like, um, it was like in a, it was like on a, it was on Friday and like uh, I was in like I was it was like Friday and like the like I want to say eleven eleven twelve. Well, this is uh thirty two moves. Um, and then this one is ten moves. Alright, how about we do the thirty two moves one? Okay. Yeah. Try it. Yeah. Alright, let's see here. I was playing black that game. Oh. Alright. Oh boy. <laughs> I hope that was the right one. But, uh, I guess I learned something for any of my losses at anyway, point, so I guess it's really hard to <laughs> Alright, so you are black. Yeah. Right, so let's turn this off. I like how it says the strongest move is Creed for fun. Yeah. for is strong. <laughs> Alright. So, I get to I play. Is which opening? Which opening is this? Because I end up playing this one a lot. This is Rui Lopez. Well, now it's the Italian game. If you did, if you did Bishop, uh, Bishop B five, that would be a Rui Lopez or the Spanish game. Yeah, but the, yeah, the Spanish game. Yeah, yeah, Rui Lopez or the oh. Spanish game, same thing. I always thought this was the. I thought this was the Italian. My bad. Well, no, this is no, this is the Italian. Yeah. No, I'm saying if you did if you did bishop to b5. Oh, that's Spanish, yeah. Yeah. All right, so bishop c5, okay. Google piano. Evans Gambit. Ah. Wait. Yeah, yeah, I, I, I have to ask about this, because like, it happened two games where they did the same move, so I was like, wait a minute, this must be an opening, I just don't know. Yeah. <laughs> I will very Yeah, this is a specific Gambit, Evans Gambit. Yeah, so so the idea is to, you, you take here, and then he creates, he has, he has a chance to create a nice pawn center, he kicks you back. Uh, with c3 and then if you move back here then he goes d4 and take take and, and he has a nice nice pawn center there so s sacrificing a, a, a flank pawn to gain a strong center basically oh so wait should I not take then 
Um, I mean, it's kind of hard not to take because if you go back, then you, he still gains space kind of like this, which is annoying, you know? And so, that, it, it, I, I, it's kind of a lose-lose. Yeah, it's kind of hard. I mean, uh, yeah, I guess taking would be the best thing. Yeah. So, take. Okay, you came back. See, another, another thing to do is uh, instead of going to um, C4, you go A4. And then he can't he can push here because now the pawn is pinned. Oh, that's help. That's helpful. <laughs> I didn't. Yeah, I didn't think of. I didn't consider that one yet. Yeah, and so that, that was. I I, play, I got played against it twice, and I, I lost both times to it, thinking that I was so sad. You're thinking what? I played against it both times. I played against it. And I lost pretty badly. And I was just... Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um... Yeah, so you want to try to prevent them from getting this this uh, strong center. So this is a good way. This this pin um, prevents this pawn from end, from going to the center. So Got it. That's nice. All right, so he went bishop c4, d4. Okay. All right. Good. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, so also um, when someone does a gambit, um, it's usually advantageous for the person who uh, who did the gambit not to trade pieces, right? Because they want to keep as many pieces on the board to attack. Yeah, but you so, want to trade with them. So eventually, yeah, I would definitely trade this bishop um, very quickly. I think I did. I'm oh, oh, he, did oh he did. He did. Oh, oh, he did. Okay, so now now he can do a, a see this. See, this is another reason why it's important to trade. I don't know if he, I don't know if he did this. I'm not looking ahead, but. I already see a tactic right here. Check. Right? And then check. Right. That's kind of that's kind of annoying. <laughs> right? Oh man. Oh man. Yeah. I hate this bishop check to like lose bishop to get body. <laughs> <laughs> so I mean I guess you could move back here, but but still he uh he let's see so now i can well then i get i get check with the rook a, right you get to check with the rook you can you can you can come here and eventually push and and, and come yeah, back eventually it's all in my like my good position with the king yeah so now so now what's the, what's the deal so now now the pawn pawns are even but he's got a nice um more active pieces the, the this this stuff's supposed to be developing I mean, he he can develop pretty quickly so so yeah, you got you got to watch out for for those bishops in in this kind of opening. Um, that's why that's why. Oh, I, I suppose that, so. So here, I think I think I would have definitely just traded here. And then what would you do? Maybe something like this, and then, um, and then maybe then maybe you can develop. Okay. Yeah, something like that. So. Okay. Yeah, you got to watch so, out watch out so for those that. long range bishops in these open open positions. Yeah, okay, so that's what he does. <laughs> yeah, so he does do it. Okay. <laughs> or is that wait, hold on, is that Oh no no. Oh oh wait wait, did this is actually what happened, right? Oh, yeah, this is actually what happened. Oh, this is actually what happened. Okay, so he did okay, good. Alright, so he did block. Okay. Check. Alright. I w I wouldn't say that's a good I, I don't think that this is a good move at all. Because now he's intentionally putting his 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 knight in a pin. And yeah, but he just castles. Yeah, he just castles next turn. It's fine. Right. All right. Let's see here. Check. Actually, here I see a, a killer move for him. Wait, hold on. All right, here I see a killer move for him. You see it? Um. Instead of castling. You see, you see the, you see the, 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 uh, the, uh, soup, the, 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 I don't know. I see a really good move for him. There is. Yeah. I mean, I don't. He, has, he doesn't have too many pieces to work with for this. Like, he can't move his knight anywhere. So, like, no, uh, no, yeah, he can't move his knight. What do you think? Um. 
I guess there's a way for him to deal oh, with Oh, what, moving his pawn forward to threaten, threaten me? Yeah, I like this move. Yeah, definitely. So what does he do? H uh, how do you protect? How do you protect against his mate? I don't... I don't... I don't like it. I, I don't like... I don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I don't like it either. <laughs> but uh, it, it look, it's a pretty good move. There's only one way, I think, to defend. Well, actually, there's two ways. Yeah. Two. Yeah. Two uh, decent ways you can defend. Uh, uh, that, that's, that is rather degenerative. I'm not going to lie to you. I think I saw this, too. And I was like, thank God he didn't do it. <laughs> yeah. Isn't that a good move? That's a good move. It is. Uh, um, uh, and, and actually, the best way to defend is a block. Yeah, so you can block with the rook, or, um, or just take the knight. Yeah, I know. I, that's what the first thing I thought of, but that's clearly but, weird. But that, um, yeah, I mean, I mean, look at his positions. These pawns are very powerful. He's about to castle. Yeah, that's, that's clearly worse. I can't, I can't really. I don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so uh, yeah, it's, it's just it's tough to defend. So yeah, he didn't he didn't see it. So you got lucky. Good. Kick the knight away, good. Alright, uh, let me think here, hold on. Mm. Hmm. I want to get my piece stacked up as soon as possible, so I was like, let me just... Yeah, let's see, hold on, hold on. Um, Maybe I should activate my best instead. I mean, I mean I'm, thinking, I'm thinking it's kind of a waste of a move, because he can develop and attack you at the same time, and now where are you going to put your rook? You got you to gotta retreat. Oh, right. I see. I see your point. Yeah, so I was just trying to get. I was just trying to get it on that file because I know usually rook. It's usually a good idea to have my rook on the file in general. Yeah, that file in general. Yeah, it's it's always good to have your rooks on the seventh rank when at all possible. But um, but yeah, here you can kick you away very quickly with that. Um, but yeah, he, here okay. I'm, I'm I'm looking at this bishop, which is still inactive, right? So how do you how do you activate that bishop? Yeah, I was thinking about that too. Um, I could activate it um by putting it on uh, G four. Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, I would definitely like. I like that one definitely. You know, th threatening to take if he moves the queen, take take the take the knight and and uh, ruin his pawn structure. All right. So all right. So let's see. So you did rook, and he didn't kick you away. Okay, he's very nice. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, he missed it. <laughs> so now now your rook is trapped. If he does this, where do you move your rook? I don't. You have no you have no safe squares for your rook, right? I don't. I run out of space, that's unfortunate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you gotta be careful. Definitely be careful. Always make sure you oh. That's rather unfortunate, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, you always make sure you have escape squares, definitely. So, he missed it, though. Alright, so he went there. Alright, being a nice guy to you. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Um, hmm. I mean, this doesn't look good just because of this, just because of this move, but... I mean that might that might open up his king too much, so he, he probably wouldn't, might not want to do that. Um, but yeah, just because of that. I thought about that. Too. I was like, wait, why am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. Um, I'm glad. <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice. Thank if, you. It's like, no, what am I doing? <laughs> yeah, it'd be nice maybe if you can bring your bring the the bishop here on this diagonal. This is a nice diagonal too. You know. So what do I learn from this game then? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so let's finish this up. So here, tick, 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 rook, K. Okay. All right. No. Oh, he does do it. Okay, yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. All right. So is your knight trapped? Um. Yes. No. Well, I had to. Okay. It just this one, oh, yeah, I remember. Yeah, this one's not the fun, the funnest game for me. <laughs> Doesn't look too fun. Uh, ah, see, this is, this is a good example of what we just talked about. Interference, right? He's cutting yeah. off. He's cutting off the connection between your queen and knight. Very yeah. good. Very good. Uh, yeah. I mean, good for him. Yeah. <laughs> yeah.
<laughs> um, all right, so, ouch. Yeah, so here, um, so how could you save your night? What do you think? What's a good way to try and save your night? I didn't see anything that was saw anything I would have did. <laughs> good point, good point. <laughs> I, I mean, one, one last ditch effort you can save your night is B5. Right? What, just, is, um, what does he do? Um, let's see. Uh, oh, well, I mean, it's a little, I guess, I guess that would kind of help, but like, I but you, oh, but, what's going on. But you're kind of, you're kind of uh, postponing the inevitable, though, because he can move back, let's say, where, where does he move back? Um, let's say, let's say he just moves back here. Give me a moment, these I have like a rent, these random advertisements are really a Drag. There we go. So there we go. All right. So and we're back. So and said, we're back. So he just moved. He just moved back to D two. So I'm just saying, after you do B five, he moves back to D two. Now he resumes the attack on the knight. Nowhere to. You have nowhere to go. Right. Um, so now you have to reconnect the queen and knight. And then and he, he just does it again. And then he just comes back. <laughs> 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 it's tough it's tough <laughs> so <That was> rude <laughs> yeah <laughs> like a boosted animal alright so <laughs> alright so you sat you, you, so you went there you took ugh it's a rough rough position oof hmm well here maybe I, I would try to at least try to activate the queen, bring the queen over. All right, attack the rook and the pawn as well. I didn't, th I didn't, I didn't think it would do any. Wait, uh, I didn't think it would do anything. Cause, uh, I think he could just defend it with his queen. He can, he can, yeah, or or his king. Um, like I just didn't think it'd do anything. I mean, he he like, can even, he can even do that. Uh, what can you do? You can't really do much. Of anything. And like, I didn't want his brook to stay on my pawn where it was pinned. Mm hmm Okay. Okay. So, rook takes, rook takes. Alright. Mm. Alright. And then resigned. Yeah. Okay, so let's go back. Um. <laughs> then resigned. Yeah, because that was... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so, Evan's Gambit. So, yeah, so, um... Yeah, I guess if you're if you're as black in this position, I guess taking would be kind of necessary. Um, but I would definitely bring the bishop back here in order to pin pin this pawn. I think that's the best okay. uh, best continuation. Um, yeah, because then it's nasty. See, it's it's, it's, a, it's a terrible it's a nasty position for him. So, all right. Um, but you did bishop c5. You allowed him to get nice center check, and then definitely trade. Yeah, again with with, with the gambits, um, it's always advantageous for for you to trade. You know, who, as a, normally when I I don't recognize these things as gambits, I just think it's my my, my enemy just randomly just throwing lines at me. I'm just like very confused. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, yeah. yeah. Like, oh, what the heck? Okay. Yeah. Sure, give me a pawn. Yeah, there's a lot of gambits. Uh, there's quite a few gambits, and uh, yeah, I mean, eventually you'll get to know all, a lot of them. Um, and you know, yeah, yeah, it's important to differentiate between you know a blunder of a pawn and uh, and an intentionally sacrificed pawn, right? Um, yeah. Be because uh, you know when they intentionally sacrifice, you know that they have an objective in mind. Why they did yeah, that? Yeah, which right? is usually fit better, which is better piece activity than mine. Yeah, usually. So, so uh, yeah, and it, so yes, yeah, so again here definitely trade, trade, right? Because so now every time I see somebody giving me a free fund, <laughs> we're trading every piece of the board. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta be, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be suspicious when people are leaving pieces, uh, an end prize or or hanging, you know. Definitely. This <laughs> is funny business. Yeah, check. Takes. Check. Yep. And then he's got a nasty 
here, right? Which you didn't do, but yeah. That's nasty. Alright, so you didn't do that. Castle. I seem to get bodied by 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 get Gavits too early. <laughs> I think like that's the only my old my real follow early game. Like, about game a lot of games it's just it's just randomly bodying because I just never see it coming. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Eventually you'll you'll um you'll get to know the game it's quite well. Eventually you'll see. Um. Yeah, there's quite a few games. It's, yeah, so this is a, again, this one was a bad move just because it traps the rook. You know, always make sure you have a an escape square. See, the rook the rook can escape anywhere, but he missed it. Yeah, that would have been that would have been uh, horrible, crushing. Um, and, if, and if you did that, he would have been up a whole rook. Yeah. All right. So he went here. Okay. Not a whole rook. He did, he he'd be up two points. He's like he could have lost tonight, right? I think. Well, well, let's see. Look, let me show you. He goes here. So where do you go? What do you do now? I don't go anywhere, but like I wouldn't move, moving it like to a place where you can get it for free would be worse. Would definitely be worse. But, but what would you do in this position? It's a good question. Uh, um, hmm. you have a bunch of. I don't have anything that's you know really you know great. I mean. I guess I'd move to push this pawn on uh, the front, in front of the bishop just so I can open like my my bishop my my, my pieces over on that side. This one? Not 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 that. Oh, the, the other, other one. one. Oh, yeah. that one I would not necessarily do, only because it helps to alleviate his double isolated pawns. Like right now, this is these are targets right now that, that you can potentially target. So you don't want to help you don't want to help him trade them away. You know that's why that's why I like. I, I like this one better to open up the bishop, right? Okay. Um, but yeah, so let's say yeah, there, there. Yeah, so you're down the exchange. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but that was unavoidable as soon as it, uh, as soon as I made the mistake. Right, right. Okay. All right. So you block your rook, and and then you lost. Oh, the fork. Yeah, the fork. Yeah. Now it's kind of downhill from there. Then you trapped your rook. And then you then you did the interposition. What's it called? Interference. Yeah. 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 All right. All right. Good. So, do you want to do one more? Yeah. All right. So, which one do you want to do? Um, you can do whatever recent one you can see, you can see. so I don't, I don't want to go looking for this casual game, it's going to take forever. <laughs> Alright, um, let's see, victorious, victorious, mm -hmm. 29 moves, 17 moves, 39 moves. All right, this one looks good. Thirty nine moves. I like this. I like doing the longer games. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Where it takes me a bit. Where I don't just instantly. Lose. Say, say again. Where I don't just instantly. Lose. <laughs> All right. So you are black. All right. Okay. Good. Yeah, excellent. <laughs> Castle quickly. <laughs> I'm not with this. No, 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 no. I, there's been a lot of a painting. I've been scarred, bro. I've been scarred. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's like, if it's like turn six, I start getting it. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I know. Castle, <laughs> Castle quickly and swiftly. Um, Soon and quickly, so. I'm on my king. I'm on my king. Not even the same, same, same area code. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? All right, all right, okay. Hmm. Now, why'd you go there? Why be Why bishop d four? Well, I thought that um, I I thought my well, my my bishop's definitely more active there, mm -hmm. and 
because of the whole night, there's the whole knight pendry, right? And it forces him to respond. So this knight's being threatened there. Plus, if he trades, then I get an active knight. Hmm. All right. For free. All right, that's good. Good reasoning. Um, I mean, I, I was just thinking, I was just thinking oh, retreat back. But if you really wanted to t get get your bishop, you can just go there, right? Um, yeah, I was thinking about just getting, getting my pieces more. It, it, it was more active for me to do that than to just go back and do that. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Okay. Good. Good. All right. Good. Open up the uh, the F file. Good. All right. All right. So, hmm. All right. Here, I would prefer take with the pawn. Definitely. Um. Why do you think? Uh, oh, well, I well, I thought that would a ruin my pawn structure, and um, b I would I wanted to, I wouldn't mess I I wouldn't I want uh, activate my knight would be a bit trick activate my knight towards the king side would be a bit trickier. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, in this position, it's still relatively close. Like, there's no pawn uh, exchanges yet, and so this this is actually a very nice. Um, advanced pawn into his position already and so now he has to he's forced to move the knight somewhere uh where does he move it maybe, yeah, I kicked the knight for, maybe, with, yeah i kicked the knight with a back there sure. and then you push yeah, forward he goes there, then you double, oh, okay yeah and that's a nice that happens, that's right? a nice pawn structure right there you know and you can no, really so i thought the double pawn thing would be like an issue well even here you can always relieve relieve the pawn uh double pawns with this and then trade and uh, I think this is a very nice position. This is a nice, nice advanced pawn controlling, controlling these two squares. Oh, oh, okay, so I guess it was a difference in understanding the thing because like I didn't, I, I could have saw this, but I didn't realize it was better than like. Yeah, I definitely like this position, and then and then eventually you move the knight here. You control this square, and then you you know start doubling up your rooks. And. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess. Well, yeah. I guess I like I. So I, I guess I'm underestimating. I keep underestimating the value of like how like my how the advanced pawns being good. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, don't be afraid to push your pawns. Uh, definitely not. Um, yeah, because here, so see your pawns are are d doubled already, right? Mm -hmm. So if you can just you can if you can advance them forward, it, that's great. You know, I think I think that's much better. And also. Is blocking this bishop, All right? So you're 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 neutralizing the power of this bishop, right? Bishops, bishops and rooks function the best on open diagonals and open files, right? So when when you put the more pawns you put there on in their path, the uh, more useless they become. Yeah. Yeah, the more use. Yeah, the less useful they become. So, so that's uh, that's another part, another reason why I like this. So, all right, you did with the knight. Okay. Uh, so you just lose a pawn here? Well, hmm. no. It's kind of risky though because I think in the end you're gonna get a uh, you're gonna get a, um, an isolated pawn here, right? So if he goes here, 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 well, you've got this, right? Well, actually, yeah. e even before that, he can uh, no, he can't do that. All right, all right. So go here, here. So yeah, so I mean you're even. The only problem is you got this, which is a um um, which is an, uh, an yeah. But like my p my rook is activated. My rook my rook position's activated there. My knight's so far on the same file, and it's yeah. putting pressure off it. True, it is activated. Um, but you have this um this uh, isolated pawn, which can be a weakness definitely. So I mean he can just castle, and he, he's protecting pretty well. Um. So, hmm. and, then, and then you can always put the bishop here and block your, your pawn. Bishop there, and then, you know, pawn here, maybe. Um, and then target target this pawn. Um, yeah. Yeah, so that's the only thing I, I, I would try to avoid, you know, getting any kind of weakness like this. That's why, that's why in this position, um, I think, hmm... Yeah, maybe the best thing would be to trade. I think that's, I think that's the best trade, and then uh, and then try try to exploit this this half open file. 
you know, d double your rooks like this, right? Yeah. Yeah. To me, that's the best. Because here you kind of uh, just uh, inviting that weakness. So, so let's see what happens. Take, take. Aha! All right. Good. That's a good in between move again. A good uh, Zuisenjug move. <laughs> in between. Um, ooh, Slusionite. Ouch. That sucks. Yeah, I, that happens to me a lot where I just. I, I didn't notice it, and I'm just like, oh. Yeah. Great. Yeah, yeah, that was necessary. Yeah, knight, knight d7 was necessary, and then he takes your pawn, and now you are down one pawn, right? Yeah, you're down one pawn. Hmm. Yeah, that sucks. Then he's, then he's preparing, he can prepare to move this, and then castle, and then push. Yeah, push, push so up. like, yeah, as soon as I lost my knight, that was kind of scheme. I was like, oh, great, alright. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. Well, here, uh, nah, you can't, you can't even win this pawn, because I'm thinking, I'm thinking you go here to attack both, but he can just come back, come back to e2, right? Defend. Uh, I mean, then I could continue, uh, with my queen. Oh, queen like, here? Right this. Yeah. And then he just, then he can just take. Yeah, but then I could just take his pawn you, over. You take his pawn, then he castles, and now, and now... This pawn, you have opened up the G file directly, directly to your king. Yeah, but I could. Uh, oh, yeah, I, that is that is an issue. That is an issue. But like, I could just if I take my the extra pawn with the rook and he does that to my to my queen. Let's like, see. Let's say yeah. Let's see. Let's see. You go here, here. Castles. Take. Okay. Take. Take. Castles. Now what do you do? Um. Oh yeah, I forgot about the bishop holding onto that pawn. That actually is an issue. Yeah, protecting everything. The bishop is very, very useful here. Very powerful. Um, uh, well, you know what I do with all the loaded pieces. Then we're gonna move that rook over there. We're gonna try taking it out. Yeah, yeah, it's a tough. Yeah, so uh, after the uh, the hung knight, that's kind of hard to, um, kind of hard to recover from that. Um, so you went queen, all right. Take, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. all, right. all right. So you're still trying to fight back. That's good. A very valiant of you. <laughs> All right, good. I mean, <laughs> that Paul Mercy Worthy game I I, I played, I could have gotten, I, I got blasted in the game, so I was like, you know. And there's been a couple, there's been games where I was losing early, and I kind of, I, I got, I won somehow, so I was like, you know, let me. Yeah, yeah, I think, yeah, I do remember games where you, uh, you came back. And also, I remember a game where you were completely winning, right, you had like two queens, and then you got checkmated. <laughs> With a, I lost. <laughs> with, with, with a bishop and a rook, he checkmated you. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> I was like, oh, great. Yeah. yeah. This is just. I a... lost. Yeah, like yesterday, I was playing that. Um, I was playing that guy Joe, and I like I shouldn't have lost to him, but like I, did. I got really have problems with attacking with it, with, with when I, when, I, when I have this advantage. I like I don't know how to do the attack right. You you mean uh, you mean the old guy? Not the opening. Um. What happened was like he uh so he did he 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 weakened his dark he would he weakened his dark shirts because like I put a I had pin I forgot how, how exactly what happened like he weakened his he weakened his no I'm sorry he weakened his light squares because I, I put my dark squares my dark square bishop on the space like next to his king and so like he put, pushed both his pawns back just to, to kick me out yeah so I had all this and I had all this up ways to attack and I can't pass on queen so I took a pawn storm trying to break through but mm. like I somewhere I, I messed it up so bad that I ended up losing that Ooh, that that's the old like, I messed up the execution of the attack so bad that I just I just lost that, that's the old guy right that you played yeah yeah okay uh yeah yeah sometimes uh they say that uh well even if you're winning yeah you gotta be very careful that's why there's a saying um the hardest game to win is a one game. <laughs> yeah. You gotta, you gotta be careful, even when you think you're winning. 
Ooh. Yeah, Chess is really different gender like that. It's like, hey, I, 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 I got this. No. <laughs> you never actually got this. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. So now, starting to attack, starting to attack. Uh, so now I think you're hoping for a miracle here. And you resign. Okay. All right. No, no I, I was like, that's, that's just, okay. It's late game now. He's got like two rooks. Yeah. It's way too late in the game for me to come back from my double for two. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so let's go. What do we learn from this one? So, you castle early, so that's good. Good thing. Positive. Um, so, if you want to save the bishop, you know, that maybe, uh, maybe create an escape square. You know? Definitely. Oh, yeah. You can do, definitely do that. Or, or if you want to prevent him from doing b5, you know, you go all the way. And then and then you can go c6, and maybe b5. Well, then what about, what about my knight, though? Well, yeah, the knight, I mean, you can bring the knight here, he, you know, here, and then here. But, that, but you, you, you told me those were, that was, like, a more passive. I'm pretty sure that's more passive than putting it, like... Yeah, it is. Um, but in this position, I mean, this is very mirror, see, this is very mirror position, so... I don't know, my instinct is always to break the symmetry. I don't really like mirror positions. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I mean, just, just to see, he wants to do b5, right? So either prevent that or or you go a6 to create a escape square for your bishop here. Because um, this is a nice diagonal, right? Nice diagonal for the bishop. So, yeah, in, in these kind of uh, king pawn games, the uh, the king's bishop here is very strong. That, that's why th this was a good move for you. Trade off, trade off the bishop. That was a good move. All right, so you went there. So, he, all right, and again here, you know, don't be afraid. Create that big pawn, pawn center. Right, that's beautiful, be beautiful uh, position right there. Um, and, and this. So don't be afraid, create pawn center. Okay. Yeah, this is this is potentially is a very nice outpost for your knight. Maybe push here, knight here, knight here. That's very nice. Oh, pushing there when that weaken my uh my late squares on the king side. But yeah, I already, already it would, but, but he, he doesn't have a light square bishop. So and you oh. can you, you can always protect with your queen on the light squares, right? Yeah. So, yeah. So uh, you know you know and, and then and then again double the rooks. So so yeah, that's that's, that's definitely I would prefer that. Get get these pawns active, right? So right here they're not doing anything, right? You want to get them activated. So all right, so here. Oh. All right, keep in mind, keep my get my pawns. So, uh, is my peace activity active enough on now? Or yeah, I think I think it's pretty good. You know, you I think you developed in this game anyway. You developed very well, and you got your king to safety very well. Um, it's just that again, preserving create escape squares for your pieces. Like the last the last game was the rook create escape square, right? This one, if you want to save the bishop, create an escape square here, so the bishop can retreat. Yeah, it's a well, yeah, that's a lot of spatial. That's a, that's a lot of positional stuff that I'm not like mm -hmm. good at yet. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, with time. So, you lost a pawn here, and then you lost a knight. Okay. <laughs> so, then it kind of just went down downhill from there. Yeah. So, that... what I'm, so, what do you think? I, so, the things I should focus on is what? Yeah, so, create a escape square for your pieces. Very important. Um, and, you know, if you to make sure you don't your pieces don't get trapped, but also if you don't want to trade. If you don't want to allow your opponent to trade... Your active pieces, like the bishop, the bishop on c5 was is very active, right? Um, yeah. So if you don't want to, you don't want to, if you don't if you don't want to trade them, then you then you push a uh, you push a pawn, create luft. That's the, that's the term, right? Create luft, and then and then the, the piece can retreat. Um, and uh, and don't hang your pieces. <laughs> well, the hanging piece is the. I mean, I know that. I know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but yeah, otherwise pretty good. I think I think you're doing good with peace development and getting your king to safety, um, and uh, yeah, tactics you're pretty good. I guess just strategy and positional uh, positional play. So yeah. Yeah, that's where I'm, that's my problem. Like positional play, it's just like I don't. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I'm doing. Yeah, it takes time, and uh, yeah, you will get it. Um, just pra keep practicing, keep playing. Um, I think it'll come, you know, more like second nature to you. But uh, yeah, always, always be aware of what your opponent is trying to do, right? And try to either prevent it or, 
make sure you can escape from it. Very important. You know, escape. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I guess I'm not. I, yeah, that is a thing too. I get, I do get, I do get very involved in my plans. Like I do, I, 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 I especially because like I usually take forever to come up with my plan. Like, I just completely forget. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It takes me that forever alone to come up with my plan, and right. it's like, oh crap, what about the way the opponent can do? Yeah. And I'm like, at the same time, you don't want to look at what the opponent can do because you don't want to have to. <laughs> because why? You don't want to. You don't necessarily want to look at what the opponent can do because you're just like, I, you, you can't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, yeah. You always got to be be cognizant of what your opponent's trying to do. <laughs> like, no, I know you don't. You don't want you don't want any surprises, you know. Yeah, that's kind of tricky too because like there's not so many options in the game. I, think I could be thinking like all the stuff that I could do, but I could like just be missing something entirely. Yeah. 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 So uh, yeah, but overall pretty good. I think you're improving. Um, yeah, so it seems like you got the opening principles down pretty well. It's just, uh, you know, middle game strategy and positional play that uh, they got to work on. So, cool. What do you think? Yeah, it's the only way to work on my middle game strategy and positional play just to play the game. That's, not, that's yeah. the only thing I could do. Yeah, so, like, play, anyway, so, like, play the games. Um, let me think. Um, I, mean, pu I mean, puzzles usually are more about tactics, right? Like immediate yeah. checkmate or immediate win of material. Um, yeah. Yeah, positional play is something that you learn, I guess, the more you play and, you know, you can read books and uh, do stuff like that. But, yeah, just I guess it takes more time. It's, it's a little bit more difficult to explain because each position is unique, right? Each position is different. So, yeah. So, um, yeah, it was time, you know. Have patience. You're getting better. I think you're getting better. What do you think? How do you feel? I hope, I think, I think so, like, the pieces are getting where at, and, like, Seth, um, Seth told me yesterday, my, um, my, uh, my English opening was pretty good, was pretty good, he was telling me my, my English opening was pretty good. Uh-huh. Good. I mean, he still, like, he still, like, he still was, he still was, he still was like, we were playing time, too, so, like, I mean, I, I did win, like, two, two or three games against him, which I, I used to never be able to beat him before, so I guess, I guess that that is bad, I, I guess I, that, I guess I should try to sign of something. Cool. <laughs> yeah. And, and how many games did, uh, did he win? Oh, I think he won like three or three. He, won, he definitely won more than I did, but like, I did win like two or three of them, I think. Cool. I think we played like a total of like, I would say we played a total of like, you know, seven, I want to say five, seven games. Good. Awesome. Yeah, he's a good opponent. Yeah, but he, he played with a time difference too, so it, 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 it's all, all, all it does. And he's definitely still better than him, still could fit decently off, a decent bet, bit better than me, but you know. Mm hmm. Yeah. Well, yeah, so it takes time. So, uh, awesome. Awesome yeah. games. Uh, so yeah, keep practicing, and uh, yeah, let me know how it goes. Yeah, you got it. All right, good talking to you. Wait, all right. I just, I just want, I want to. So the two things, uh, not to leave my, give my pieces escape squares. Yeah. Like, what else? Yeah, create luft. Yeah, or or give your pieces escape squares. Um, don't be afraid to push the pawns. Also, you know, if you see, if, yeah. you, if you see opportunities to gain space. With the pawns, definitely take it, um, because yeah. especially if you if your pawns were are doubled like they like they were before, um, you know you want to uh, definitely push them forward and uh, control control more space, right? Um, okay. So that kind of stuff. Okay. All right. All right. All right, Asher. Good talking to you. Good talking so, to you too. All right. We'll keep in touch. Yeah. yeah. Right, have yeah. a good day. Have a good day. Bye. All right. Bye bye. Have a good day. Bye. Now this is where the game gets to